Apart from the color, you can also change the font of the labels, text fields, buttons, or any other element that supports text. For example here, we select the email address text field, and change its font. However, before we change its font, we need to add some test text inside. This will help us see the changes so that we have a clear view of what the text user's type in will look like. Now, we are ready to move on to changing the font. We have the options to select from a great number of pre-installed fonts, add our own from Google Fonts, or import a font file. We can change the font size using the minus and plus buttons. When we are ready, the font is ready to be applied. In addition, we can set a font as favorite, to be able to easily reuse it. So now, we can select the password text field, and set its font using the previously favorited one. In the same way, we can change the font of any label, like the register. As we can see, we can also update the style of the font. Let's make this one bold. Also, because we changed its size, we need to resize the actual element so that the text fits inside the label. As we said, we can change the font of a button. Let's select the register button. We are going to change the font family, and then its style. We don't apply it yet. We favorite it, so we can use it again on other design elements. For example, we can select the, go to login, and apply a font from our favorite ones. In case we don't like a favorite font anymore, we can always remove it from the list. This, however, will not change any design element that already uses it. If we want to update any design element that used this font, we have to do it manually. Finally, don't forget to delete the dummy texts from the text fields.